Unforgettable stories out of Western Jamaica from the scrapbooks of Adrian Freita. When brothers Karen and Sheldon Brissett were arrested in connection with the brutal September 24, 2012 rape of five females, including an eight-year-old at Erwin Point in St. James, they were not only roughed up by the police, beaten by other prisoners while they were in custody, but many Jamaicans made it quite clear that they did not want them to see the light of day ever again. However, less than two years later, Thanks to the use of DNA evidence, it was discovered that the brothers were not the perpetrators of the evil crime. The universally accepted exact signs did not place them at the location. As a consequence, the rape charges and other charges that were leveled against them were dropped, giving them back their freedom. In this edition of Lest You Forget, unforgettable stories out of Western Jamaica. We will be looking back at that case where science saved two young men from a life of misery in prison. The high profile rape case which had its genesis on the night of September 24, 2012 at about 10.30. Men armed with guns barged into the Erwin Point home of the five women and forcibly took them away into nearby bushes where they were robbed and raped at gunpoint. The eight-year-old was so brutally ravished that she had to be hospitalized for a protracted period. Two days after the brutal incident, the then police commissioner Owen Ellington and his JDF counterpart Major General Anthony Anderson met with National Security Minister Peter Bunting. And after deliberations, it was decided that they would send a special team of investigators to Montego Bay to investigate the case. Within days of arriving in Montego Bay, the investigators from Kingston arrested the Brissett brothers, claiming they had found incriminating evidence against them. The brothers denied any involvement in the case and voluntarily gave up their DNA to prove their point. However, they were hit with rape charges, illegal possession of firearm charges, among other charges. After five months in jail, during which they claimed they were badly beaten up by other prisoners on several occasions, the DNA results came back. It did not place the brothers at the scene of the brutal rape. Instead of being set free, the brothers were offered bail, all this against objection of the prosecution. The brother's attorney, Lambert Johnson, said he was not surprised by the result of the DNA as he was always convinced that his clients were innocent. Five months after the brothers were released from jail, another man was arrested. This time, the DNA evidence placed him at the scene of the crime. He was identified as Clarendon resident Patrick Green. Following additional investigations, it was discovered that Green was involved in other rapes committed across the island. According to Assistant Commissioner of Police Warren Clark, the officer in charge of the Era 1 Police Division, the police had generated intelligence which suggested that Clark was a serial rapist. Based on what we are seeing, it definitely appears that he is a serial rapist, Clark told the Gleaner. At his subsequent trial, Green pleaded guilty to the charges against him. Despite his guilty plea, Green was nonetheless sentenced to 35 years in prison, bringing an end to the ugly saga that unfolded at Irwin Point. As we look back at that case, in which DNA saved two young men from public ridicule and a life of misery behind bars, it was definitely one of those unforgettable stories out of Western Jamaica. Unforgettable stories out of Western Jamaica from the scrapbooks of Adrian Freitas.